What's up guys? We are back again today with another mystery box. And this one is going to be part two. So we opened up a $60 Fignorance mystery box. It was the smaller of the two that I got in. And we're going to open the bigger one in this video and see if we can pull out some good stuff like we did the first time. If you haven't seen part one yet, I will leave the link right here, I believe. Um, yeah, go check it out. We got, we got a pretty good pull out of that box. Um, haven't decided if I'm going to keep it in the collection yet because it's only been about five minutes. So, this video we have, let me find it. All right. We've got a big Fignorance box. So, this one, uh, like the first one, was $60, somewhere between $8 and $11 shipping, but... Again, some awesome, awesome stuff. Looking to hopefully have the glow creature from the Black Lagoon in here. It's a big box and I've seen a lot of two packs and whatnot come out of the bigger boxes. So I don't know what to expect. I know there is still one of the big hit two packs floating around out there, which is the Samurai Jack, I believe. So maybe that's in here. That's pretty good. That's a, that would be a pretty good hit out of a $60 box. But Let's go ahead and break into this box. So part one, I pulled a $60 pop and another $10 pop. So we hit right at shipped value on that, which I mean, for a mystery box, that's, that's a good day, really. Um, yeah, so we got bubble wrap. And we got more bubble wrap, and we have something else wrapped in bubble wrap. Alright, so we have a two-pack. We'll save the two-packs for the last. We got two other pops down in here wrapped in bubble wrap. Try to get them out. Alright, so not in a protector. First pop out of the second Fignorance, Fignorance mystery box. We have, all right, the Invisible Man. This is cool. So, I talked in part one about a bunch of different things, changing my name being one of them. But speaking of Pops and how I still love Pops, I am going to work on finishing the Monsters Collection. And this one is awesome to have and we'll go straight into a soft protector and into my collection. Definitely gonna have to find room for it, but that is an awesome one to pull. I think it's a common pop, pretty much, but I like it, and that one is staying in the collection. All right, this other one's wrapped in bubble wrap as well. All right, here we go, in three, two, one. All right, we got Dustin from Stranger Things. Looks like a, a Barnes and Noble exclusive. Love Stranger Things. I guess love Stranger Things. It's not over yet, but this is a cool pop. Not not starting a Stranger Things collection, but that one is cool to see. Uh, there's like a I think pop tea combo that stays at my Target that nobody will buy. But yeah, this one's super cool. One of the newer ones, I believe. It's got the book bag one up in there. Awesome show. I'm sure if you're here, you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's really good. And the two pack in this box is, oh, there it is. Samurai Jack and Aku. Or Aku and Samurai Jack shared Fall Convention exclusive from 2019. This one is super, super cool. Not a huge fan of Samurai Jack. And this is the first two pack I've pulled out of a mystery box. But I know this one has some pretty good value to it. Um, super awesome to pull. We didn't get the glow creature from Black Lagoon. But the box seems to be 
in pretty good shape. It feels like the uh, the plastic clamshell is kind of pushing up on it a little bit. Yeah, I've never watched Samurai Jack, but these are two cool looking pops. Awesome, awesome two pack. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll pull up PPG and we will run a value on the pops we pulled from this box. First one we pulled was the Invisible Man Walgreens exclusive from the Monsters line. Like I said, I'm going to work toward completing this um, Monsters line. There's some pretty, pretty big um, four packs that are in this. And yeah, it's, it's a super cool pop actually has more value than I thought it would, especially being in here with the Samurai Jack 2-pack. It comes in at $16. So, not, not bad at all for one of the commons in the box. And the next one we have is Dustin from Stranger Things, number 424. All right, Dustin, number 424, Barnes and Noble exclusive. You just got a different jacket on from the common. Comes in at $10. All right, so right there, we're at 26 bucks. I forgot to break out the calculator last video. Um, but next up, we have the Aku and Samurai Jack Fall Convention shared exclusive. That's a lot to type in. All right. So the NYCC, okay, so the shared exclusive comes in at a whopping $85, which is kind of funny because the con exclusive sticker is also at $85. So we did pretty good on this box. I am super, super happy. We got a total of $111 out of a $60 box. So all together between two $60 boxes, we've got, I mean, it's way over value. The first box came in at 70 bucks. So we made, I mean, we got back that, Daggone good value on those boxes. So it was a, would have been 140. So we made about $40 on those boxes if I sell everything, but we know I'm not going to because the Invisible Man is definitely staying in the collection. So if you didn't watch part one, I'm debating a name change um, just because my collection's expanding to a lot, a lot more than pops, and the channel is going to grow to be more about collectibles in general, comics, other awesome collectibles that I've got one sitting right here that I'm going to make a video of here shortly. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. If it's a good idea, bad idea, you don't like the idea, you do. Uh, because your feedback is what matters and that's what matters to me, your support and everything that this community has. I just Y'all have been awesome. That's all I can say. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button if you like the content. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you want to know when we're putting new content on the channel, ding that bell. Once again, thank you for coming.